Uh, it meant everything to me. Uh, you know, it's one of the one of the most special moments of my life. You know, it's something that you know I dreamed dreamt of since I committed here. So, um, you know, for it to you know to happen the way it happened, it was awesome and uh, definitely one of the one of my favorite moments of my life. So. What do, you, what do you feel like you've been able to do to put yourself in that position to become a leader in this team? Yeah, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, Coach Mick always says leaders have to be heard, seen, and felt. Um, so I think that this whole offseason, you know, um, with the team we got, I know that, you know, with great leadership that we can go we can go as far as we want, you know. So, uh, you know, I just try to take that leadership role, you know, in the weight room and off the field and outside of the woody. So, uh, you know, it's been great. You know, I think a lot of guys have done a great job as well. Does this team feel like you thought it would? At this point, you know, three three days before the season opener, like you thought it would back in March or April. Yeah, you know, I think I think where you hoped y'all would be in progression standpoint. Yeah, I think we feel really good. I think we're in a really good spot, and you know, we're all just chomping out the bit to get on the field this Saturday, and you know, we can't wait to put our product on the field. Um, you know, it feels like a long time coming, like you said. You know, when we we all decided to come back, and then we got you know the big pieces we added, and. Um, you know, the off season we've had, you know, it feels like a long time coming, you know, building this point. So, you know, we just can't wait to put it on the field Saturday. How is this team going to handle those expectations? Obviously, we've talked to you guys all, you know, through this and stuff. But how do you feel like y'all are handling the expectation aspect? You know, I think we're handling it really well. I think we've got a lot of, a lot of mature guys. You know, we know the expectations. You know, you know, we're the Buckeyes. And even more so this year, they're when we came back and the guys we've got in the portal and guys we've added freshmen that we've added. Uh, you know, when you have expectations, that means, you know, people expect things from you. So, um, you know, we know it's a, you know, it's a blessed position for us to be in. Anybody in the country would want to be in our position. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're taking it day by day, and we're really excited for the season. Jack, I you're about to play again, uh, coming off a three-sack game from your last time you played. For you personally, like, in hindsight, do you, did you feel like that gave you some really positive momentum in the offseason, personally? Uh, yeah, you know, I think that, uh, you know, ending the season the way it did, you know, it sucked losing, but, uh, you know, obviously, like you said, you know, playing pretty well. Definitely gives you a little boost going into off season. You know, I think that you know my confidence grew uh, the whole second half of the season. I think I played my best football since I've been here. So I'm just really excited to, you know, after a long off season, a lot of hard work we all put in. Uh, we, you know, we're all in a really great spot, and I think that you know it's gonna, you know, you guys will be able to tell, you know, very 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 early on in this game come Saturday. Jack, how is Caleb? Yeah, I mean he's he's a guy who the minute he came here, you know, he's just so mature for his age and uh, you know super hard worker, always in the woody. Always studying something, super smart. You know, I feel like he diagnosed his play so quick from the sixth position. So, I think he just brought another. You know, it's, it's he's only a sophomore, but he's such a veteran guy already. Um, so you know, he just brings more. You know, that that veteran savvy that you need for this defense. So I think he's been great. Jack, could you give your impressions of, of Will Howard both as a quarterback from your perspective on the defense side and just a teammate? Yeah, I mean, Will, he's a you know he's a big dude, uh, 6'4", 235, 240, uh, can run. And uh, you know he's a great he's a great guy off the field. You know he gelled really well in this locker room from the minute he stepped foot on campus. So that was no problem for him at all. And uh, I'm really excited to see what he brings this Saturday. And you know he's put in a lot of hard work. Uh, you know super team first guy and uh, an excellent player from what I've seen. So I'm really excited for him to him to go on the field Saturday. Jack, to finish last season the way you did, how much confidence does that give you going into this year? Yeah, I think it gives me a lot of confidence. Um, I think for a lot of guys that we we started playing you know our best ball, especially on the defense side of the ball. Um, that second half of the season. And uh, so we're just all excited, like I said, you know, uh, you know, just chomping up the bit to get to Saturday. You know, we can't wait to put the pads on and be in the, in the shoe with the, you know, 100 plus thousand fans and, you know, put on a good performance. Jack, Jim you know, like Noel said that, you know, in year three of this defense, you're chasing perfection. What does that look like on Saturday? Yeah, um, you know, we've talked a lot about shutouts and I'm not going to say that, you know, that's the expectation, but, you know, we think that our defense is good enough to go out there and, you know, and win, win the game for us, you know, and there's nothing wrong with saying that because, that's why we all came back. We came back to be the best defense in the country. And I think that, uh, you know, the expectations got to be super high for us. We got to hold each other to a high standard, which we have. And, uh, you know, I'm just really excited to see, you know, it all come together in a, in a game format against somebody else other than our offense. You went a couple games last year. It was like, they only had a field goal. You were close to shut out. Is that something you guys are? Yeah, and that pissed us off too. They're getting them three points up, but uh, you know we're, we're really excited for the opportunity to, you know, hopefully get one of those this year. How'd you really feel? No. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Jack, uh, JT, how yep. much has he grown just in the last several months? What do you see about him from a desire standpoint? Uh, to, you know, as I was asking the other day, it's kind of impossible to ask a guy to have a Penn State game every week, right? <laughs> yeah, I say so. But where is he primed? I mean, where is he primed? Uh, differently, I guess, going into this season. Yeah, I mean, he's just, you know, JT's just, you know, he's taking that next step. Uh, he's super focused in, you know, this all this whole offseason, you know, we've been really dialed in and, and trying to pinpoint stuff that we can get better at, you know, and specifically attacking it and, 
and really trying to, you know, focus in and get better on those things. I think that he has. Uh, he looks great, you know, this whole fall camp and leading up to this game uh, so far this game prep week. So uh, he's definitely taken, you know, huge strides. And, uh, you know, it, it, I think a lot of people would give him unfair criticism too because they do all expect him to have a Penn State game every game, which is, you know, that's one of the best defensive games anyone's ever played. Uh, so it's unfair to say that. But he's been consistently one of the best defensive ends in college football uh, if you turn on the tape. So. I'm really excited to get out there with him this year and, uh, you know, wreak some havoc off that edge. Do you remember the expectations for both of you guys when y'all came in? Yeah. You know, that, uh, you feel like uh, this is the year it comes to fruition from the standpoint of right. dominance. I don't know. I don't want to put that word in your mouth. What's your, what's your sense of that? Yeah, I mean, no, that's the, that's something we talk about. I think that's something all four of us and, you know, really eight of us on the D-line talk about is, you know, being dominant. Uh, you know, there's no ceiling to how good we can be this year, and we know that. It's all about us going out there and doing it. Um, you know, we can talk about it all day, but until we go out there and do it, uh, you know, it doesn't mean a damn thing. So, you know, we're all excited to get out there, man. We're hungry, and uh, you know, I've seen this a different level of determination, you know, to chase greatness than I've seen since I've been here. So, uh, you know, like I said, we're just, you know, we just can't wait for Saturday. Jack, I know the first thing about football is you never underestimate or overlook an opponent. Yeah. <clears throat> but you're playing a team, you're a 15-point favorite or something like that. You got couple other non-conference games. You're not playing Notre Dame this year. You're not playing a team like that. <laughs> What's the challenge when, you, when you're probably not going to be tested the way that right. you would be against a team like that? What's the challenge for you guys? You know, I think the challenge is that, uh, you know, we're playing a, an opponent's coming into our house in the shoe this week. We only get eight shots left in the shoe, and we got to make every one of them count. And Akron's a good football team. Um, you know, uh, good, good head coach. I believe he was the offensive coordinator for Oregon when they beat us here my freshman year. Uh, you know, so they're going to be well coached. They're going to run their offense well and, you know, play good defense. So uh, to us, you know, and, and Coach Day always says it's never about our opponents, it's always about us. Um, you know, if we're executing at a high level and playing fast and physical, then, you know, things will take care of itself. So uh, we got a good opponent in Akron, and, you know, we're excited to play him this Saturday. Last year, early on especially, it felt like, you know, there were more base defenses, more of an emphasis on not giving up big plays. Even on the defensive line, you guys playing a little more – sound I guess uh, yeah. sort of thing this year Jim Knowles has talked about opening up opening it up again running more blitzes does that bleed into how you are playing along the defensive line is there more of an emphasis on attacking the line of scrimmage playing aggressive downhill yeah I know I think that uh I think that uh you know huge emphasis this fall camp and leading up to this season is to you know kind of let us play more downhill more free with less thinking so I think that's been great honestly the last few weeks and um, you know, in the, in the camp as well. And so, you know, I think that we are going to, you guys are going to see a more downhill team and, uh, you know, more of us coming off the edge and wreaking havoc like you guys all want to see. So um, I think that, you know, we're really excited to, to go out there and, you know, and, 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 and roll it out there and play. So, you know, we're really excited for that. Have you seen Sign Stealer yet? Did you watch that on Netflix? No, I haven't watched it yet. I got no comment on that. Where do you feel like you've grown the most personally from where you were in your game a year ago? Um, I think that this offseason was big for me and, and uh, you know, getting my body right. Um, I think that, you know, I don't really like to talk about myself, but I, I think that I'm, I'm a little more exposed than I was maybe in years past. And, uh, you know, I'm just really excited um, for the work that we put in. I think all of us have grown in so many different areas with our hands and hips uh, across the defensive line. So, um, you know, like I said, just, just super excited for Saturday. What did you have to change with your body? I just, I just want to get a little more leaner, uh, you know, really work on that and, and uh, just work on my technique, you know, my stance, my get off and stuff like that of that nature uh, for the defensive line. So I think that I have, and I'm, you know, I'm excited to put on put on the field Saturday. Jack, what's the, the big difference between the, the guy sitting in the chair right now and the fresh faced kid that came in four years ago? And not like <laughs> on the field stuff that you learned, but off the field that maybe even translated to on the field. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that when you come in here and you know you're an 18 year old kid just leaving high school that. There's a ton of things you can learn, you know, just as becoming a man and, and on the field and the Woody as well. And you know, that's why I tell all these young kids now is that, you know, you got to make the main thing the main thing, make football the main thing, and, uh, you know, and everything else will take care of itself. So I think that, uh, you know, coming in as we were all highly recruited too, you know, didn't help uh, with our expectations and how it, really, how it really goes when you first get here. So I think that, uh, you know, when you get – you're used to starting and playing – 80 snaps a game since you were five years old when you first get here. And, uh, you know, you don't really see the field much as a freshman. It kind of takes you back a little bit. Um, but, you know, the growth that we've all had, you know, we were all just laughing about that. Actually, that's a great question because me and Tyleek and JT were watching film of us from our freshman year. And we're like, holy shit, well, we came a long <laughs> way. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it's been good uh, being able to, you know, grow up with those guys and, 
you know, see the maturity level that we've all grown to from our freshman year on the football field and off the football field has been great. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's funny. It comes full circle. So uh, it's been awesome. It's been phenomenal.